What is up, you guys? I'm Charmix. Today, I'm going to be reacting to I attempted a speed run and got a world record by Jaden Animations. Now, that's crazy if that's true, that she got a... a well, like, what do you do a speed run of? Like, if you did a speed run of a game that no one plays and you got a record, that would be a world record, but I guess it's not that impressive because no one plays it. So, I don't know. But, um, anyway, whatever. With that being said, hopefully it's be quite interesting. Uh, make sure you guys go subscribe to Jaden Animations. That uh, link's in the description. And uh, without any further ado, let's begin. I think we all know the gist of what a speedrun is. Play game fast. But there's so much more that goes into it than what's on the surface. Play game fast. People spend hundreds of hours practicing games, finding optimal routes, discovering the most precise glitches that can save from minutes to just a few frames, which if you don't know, is basically risking your entire run just for a few milliseconds of time save. I've come to love speedruns, watching them at least. Something about them is really cool. I don't know how people can do speedruns, honestly. Like, it's just so tedious. It's the same thing over and over and over until you get a record, basically. I, I don't know, I, I couldn't do it. Cool to me, and I think the community is really cool. It's all cool. I've been lurking and watching various speedrunners for a decent amount of time, and I decided that I wanted to do a speedrun. Now, I don't really have the time to set aside hundreds of hours to hone my skill on whatever game I want, so I decided I had to do a blind speedrun where I just play it for the first time and try my best. I spent a few days racking my brain on what game I'd like to run. I like Pokemon. M uh, maybe I could run a Pokemon game. Uh, but that's a lot of researching and memorizing and luck. I could try a Mario game. It's a popular category, but uh, I don't know. Too much competition. Like, there's a lot of people who do it. If it's for me. Then it hit me. The perfect game. Of course. Why hadn't I thought of it sooner? I ran to speedrun.com to check if anyone has run it yet. No one. Wait, so that's how you got the world record because no one else did it? None. I'm going to be the first person in the world to speedrun... Cooking Mama 2, Dinner with Friends. <laughs> Cooking Mama, oh my goodness. That I know of. Is there even a story to that? Why did I choose Cooking Mama? Because, dude, Cooking Mama is awesome. If you haven't played, it's a DS game where you follow steps to make food and impress Mama. The better you do, the better score you get. Plus, I'm at an advantage when it comes to preparing food. I've seen Food Wars. I know all the techniques and secrets. If you're under 18, don't look it up. Why did I choose the second game and not the original? That's the one I bought. Duh. I used to play Cooking Mama all the time as a kid with my friend Kate. I always thought Mama's English was really funny. I still love it. We even- I like that too. Had this system where if we kept failing at a recipe, we'd have to change chairs because that one had bad luck. Obviously. I don't have that luxury this time because I have to stay by the computer. So I'll have to come up with a better strategy. Also, extra movements lose time. I need to be efficient here. Anyway, I wanted to have some sort of challenge, so I decided to add some rules to my run. One, I have to fully complete the main game mode, Cook with Mama. Two, I have to receive a gold medal in every single recipe. That means I can't make a mistake. Ever. Can't burn a single- oh, that, 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 Okay, now you're challenging yourself. I was gonna say, if you're just gonna try to play a game that no one else has done, you're gonna get a world record no matter how long it takes. But then setting these rules where you have to get a goal, you can't mess up, oh, then then you're, you're making it difficult. Single onion, can't accidentally pour the rice into the sink, can't smack my hand while pounding mochi. If I do, the whole recipe needs to be redone. Three, that's it. Do it fast, I guess. The first recipe is pizza, and I was off to a pretty good start. Obviously, it's a speed run, so I didn't have time to read the little description on what to do each step. But for the most part, I was able to use my massive IQ and big strong brain to decode the objectives in split seconds. Except in the last step where I didn't know how to work the oven and failed immediately. Again, off to a great start. After deciphering how the oven worked, I was moving on quickly. Peanut butter. So wait, so did you have to redo the entire game, that entire whole part by making the pizza and restart your speed run because you failed originally? Poke the peanuts, done. Uh, oops. Re recover, adapt, overcome, done. Seabream carpaccio, exfoliate the fish, chopping, restart. Choose I always found that disgusting on fish, the scales on fish. That's always grossed me out. It's just, I don't know. It's, a smaller knife, easy peasy. Corn soup, ew. Bald the corn, boil, strain. Oh, come on. Not all the corn came out. All right, admittedly, I was making a lot of mistakes at the beginning. I was nervous because it was my first speed run and I didn't know what I had to do most of the time and was generally panicking. 
But then I remembered that no Cooking Mama 2 speedruns exist yet. So that means I'm on world record pace, and that made me feel better. One mechanic I had- Yeah, and practice makes perfect, right? Like, you can't do something once and expect to be the best at it. I had to learn the hard way was, when it comes to the oven, choose the low heat. The first attempt, I decided to go with the medium heat to go a little bit faster. And look at this! Oh no! <laughs> what was that? That was a speed run in itself. Burn the apple pie as quick as possible. You know how there's separate categories in speed run? Look delicious. Mario Odyssey has the one where you take Mario's shirt off as fast as possible called nipple percent. I want one for cooking. That, that's a thing? Is that an actual thing? Or are you making, I don't know if that's a thing. Or are you making that up? That's weird. Mama 2 called burn apple pie percent where you just burn the apple pie as quickly as possible. Anyway, I redid the pie and was moving on. Bonk, <laughs> eel rice bowl. We're about an hour <laughs> in at this point. I had my friends in a Discord call so they can help me take notes so I didn't have to rewatch all the footage again for the script. And they decided to look up how many recipes there actually were in the game. I didn't know because I wanted to go in completely blind. And you know what they discovered? There are a total of 80 recipes in this game. And Looks like your speedrun's gonna take you a little while. An hour in, I was on recipe 8, which would- Wait, that's 80 hours then? If 8 times 10, then that's for an hour, so it's 80 hours. Be impressive in real life, but not here. So either we were gonna pull a Cooking Mama all-nighter, or I had to start picking up the pace. Sorry, shrimp. This is gonna get violent. It wasn't perfect, and I was still making some mistakes, but I started getting into the zone. It helped that I was starting to get familiar with the mechanics and actually know what the game wanted me to do for most of the steps now. Waffles, chili dog, meatloaf, lobster. I was one shot in all of them. I I've never actually played this game before. I thought I've played something similar to this, but I don't think I have. Did they have something like this similar to this either like online, like? on a website or on like Facebook or something like cuz you know back in like 2010 2012 they they'd have all these weird Facebook games I don't know they still might I've just haven't played or I, I don't I don't use Facebook I actually got kicked off of Facebook <laughs> I got kicked off of Facebook recently uh <laughs> not even for my fault I was I was just I was using it like I didn't even post anything I don't I didn't use it to post anything but I use it for some uh I was using it for something else and then I just got kicked off. That was so freaking weird. But, um, I could have swore that Facebook had games, you know, years ago. And was Cooking Mama one of the games on Facebook? I don't know. Or maybe I've played it, because I had a DS. Maybe I actually had it on the DS. I don't remember. I even put two Mama flags on the lobster, which was a bit risky. But you know me. I live for the danger. I almost, I almost forgot to put the lobster on. <laughs> Let me pause and tell you a story of my childhood. I already mentioned my love for Cooking Mama as a kid. Even 12 years ago, I set myself the goal of getting gold in all the recipes. But one haunting memory I have of this game was my struggle against the Mama Rice Cracker. All the steps are relatively simple, but at the end you have to stamp all 18 crackers with a Mama stamp. That's what makes the Mama Rice Cracker the Mama Rice Cracker. But as a kid, my DS was old and I dropped it a few times, which messed up the calibration on my screen in a way I couldn't fix. So that meant oh. at the very end of the recipe, it was extremely hard for me to stamp the stamp in the exact spot that Mama wanted. I spent- Mama ain't happy. What the frig is this? Look at those eyes. That's disturbing. That is so disturbing. I love it. I love it. Weeks. I'm not joking. Trying to get the gold on the Mama Rice Cracker. It was the last one I needed and I couldn't do it. I just couldn't. I'm pretty sure I was eventually able to pass, but let's just say I didn't for the sake of drama. Either way, I was having PTSD. I was going through all the steps, washing the rice, putting the rice in the little hole, mochi pounding the rice scoop, and then it appeared. The screen that caused the most pain a video game could to a 10 year old. I was slowly making my way down the line. Everything was going well. And then all of a sudden uh -oh. on the 10th cracker, no! I accidentally tapped the screen when I was lining up my pen, causing me to not brand the cracker enough. I'm not one to believe. So did you have to redo the entire 
Uh, speed run. And spiritualism or star signs or destiny's child, whatever that stuff is. But that moment in particular made me question if it was all real and my only fate is to eternally fail the last step of the mama rice cracker recipe until I inevitably die in an unaccomplished old man that makes ugly rice crackers. I did it right the next time, but that would have been unfortunate, right? With the mama rice cracker okay. conquered, now nothing was in my way, and I was making my way through the rest of the recipes. At the two hour, 37 minute mark, 27 recipes in, uh. 27 recipes at two and tw two hour mark or something? That's still gonna be like, cause there's 80 recipes. That's like, you're at like 10 recipes an hour almost. Yeah, so you still you still have so many more hours to go, my goodness. Ari got out of his cage and was running around the room, so I had to spend precious time getting him back under control. That was a loss of two minutes right there. Then I missliced the ravioli, so I'm blaming all of that misfortune on Ari. I actually struggled a lot on the ravioli recipe. The pasta is really hard to cut because you have to time the splice with the line, but since I was so focused on when to cut, a lot of the time I would deviate from the actual line to cut from and mess up. Then when I was able to get Get past that stage for some reason the mic had trouble hearing me blow so even though i was doing what i was supposed to i'd fail anyway no i do you hear it overall i had to redo the ravioli recipe six times and i spent 11 minutes on it six times my goodness what's up that's a lot of waste right there not great Thanks, Ari. But after that, I was able to one-shot both the cake and the spring rolls. And can we talk about how the ice cream recipe literally just makes you scoop out store-bought ice cream and put sprinkles on it? That's been my favorite recipe so far. Skipping forward a bit, let's- Extremely difficult. Let's talk about the mango pudding. This was ravioli part two. The first step I had trouble with was memory- Butthole Junior? Is that what it said? That little, uh- award or whatever. Rising the order of the ingredients. It was the six part Simon Says memory game and my big smooth brain can only handle one number at a time before the concept of object permanence leaves my body. I inevitably got a lucky pattern that was easy to remember and after a few more steps in the end I had to draw a line at a specific speed that would remove the pudding cleanly. Too slow and it wouldn't come out. Too fast and it just... For the life of me, I couldn't get the pacing right three consecutive times in a row. And with the combined dif Well, at least it wasn't six. ...difficulty of that, along with the memorizing, I spend another 10 minutes trying to get it right and oh. still failing. My confidence was shattered and I had to take a mental health break. I'll be back for you, mango pudding. I'll come back stronger and I'll cook you so well I'll become the mama. I was in shambles from the pudding but was able to move on and started getting back into a rhythm. All these foods, I- So if you took a break, is that still counting on your time then? Like if you took a 10 minute break, is that 10 minutes still added on? Cause isn't like a whole playthrough or whatever supposed to be, or speed run supposed to be just that like a one time thing? Like you can't just stop in the middle and leave, right? I was knocking them out one by one. I will note that I struggled with popcorn because I thought there was gonna be some sort of indicator or something on when to open the lid. So I just sat there until I realized I burnt it all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I was like, oh, okay, I'll open it when I hear the popping sounds. And then I opened it with like five popcorns. <laughs> But it's okay, I was able to figure it out. Overall, the rest of the run went on without any major problems. I was able to finish up the rest of the recipes, and at the 6 hour, 38 minute mark- Are these recipes based on reality? Like, could you could you go and do it and then be like, okay, now I can do it in real life? I only had two recipes left. The bento box, and of course, the mango pudding. Time is ticking. Six We're hours. We're in the end game now. Also, my Discord friends were ready to never talk to me again. I thought I could just get the bento box over with quickly because it's like- you just put food in box, right? Well, actually, I didn't realize I had to include food from all the categories mama gave me or something. So I failed it like three times and was on the brink of insanity trying to figure out what mama wanted from me. The food is in the box, mama. What the, what's, what's what a bento box is? Food in box. What else do you need? Blood? A blood sacrifice? It didn't say anywhere in the- <laughs> Mama's a little bit crazy instructions that I should have put more variety in there, not that I was reading the instructions anyway. I still, right now, don't know what Mama wanted, but at least I finally got the gold after four minutes. That meant I only had one last this is not recipe. 10. 79 were completed. The mango pudding was the only thing standing between me 
and the first Cooking Mama 2 dinner with friends world record. I clicked it nervously, but I climbed my mountain. I trained with Mama, and I've come back a new chef. Peeling, slicing, blending, I was quicker than ever. Like, it seems like that's a, like a, like a legit recipe. Like, it seems like you could actually use that to make mango pudding or whatever. So could you actually do it then? I don't know. There it was. The memorizing. I was doing well until... No! <laughs> I restarted. I was sweaty and shaking. My brain was shutting down. My eyes had only been seeing Cooking Mama for the past six hours and 45 minutes. Every breath was Cooking Mama. Every neuron in my skull was Cooking Mama. Every atom in the universe at that moment was Cooking Mama. But my next attempt... Sounds like you're going a little bit, a little bit crazy, if you ask me. <laughs> oh my god. Oh Jesus. Is this, is this the one? I nervously went through the rest of the recipe until I arrived at the last step. It's been about three hours and 15 minutes since I practiced removing the pudding from the mold. And to be honest, I don't remember the removal strats. First one. Second one. Let's go! I got all the puddings out flawlessly. Well done. Well done. I waited until the results to confirm it. Boom. 100 points on the mango pudding. Stop the timer. I did it. At long last... All 80 recipes in Cooking Mama 2 gold in 6 hours, 47 minutes. It's not bad time, actually. I, th I was expecting it to be like 8 hours. And 27 seconds. There might be some room for improvement there. Overall, I had a really fun time with the speed run. It's not even close to a good run, and the time can easily... Well, I mean, it's good compared to anyone else who's tried it, right? be halved, but I still pride myself in knowing I was the first one to complete and document the Cooking Mama 2 all gold percent and also burnt apple pie percent. If there's any speedrunners out there wanting to try and take my crown, uh, I'll share some speed strats I thought of during the run. If you complete the steps too quickly, you get a bonus and at the end of the recipe, if you get five bonuses, you receive a gift that you can't reject or skip, which loses a lot of time. You're smothering me, mama. So if you can get no bonuses within the entire game, you'd be saving a lot of time. Another- well, That's smart. Go slower and save more time. Doesn't sounds doesn't sound right, but it is, I guess. Tip is, if you're gonna mess up the recipe, uh, don't mess up the last step. Because if you do, you have to wait through Mama giving you your score and clapping for you and being like, yeah, it's almost perfect. And the whole time you're like, yes, Mama, I know it's not perfect. I dropped an egg. And then she gives you like three presents in a row because you got too many bonuses. And you're just screeching at her to shut up the whole time. I didn't discover any glitches that would save time, unfortunately. Uh, I don't know what a Cooking Mama glitch would look like, but it doesn't sound pleasant. But it doesn't matter, because as of- A Cooking Mama glitch would be like skipping over her talking and giving you presents or whatever. This moment like. right here, I'm the one with the Cooking Mama 2 dinner with friends world record. Guess I finally did something with my life after all. Anyway, thanks for watching. <laughs> just already just crapping everywhere. Watching my first attempt at a speed run. I think in hindsight, I should have chosen a game that could have been done in a few less hours because I feel like I aged 20 years after this. But eh, you live and learn. Anyway, I actually like this video a lot. Uh, I've done, like, I haven't done a speed run before, but I've done something similar. I was playing a computer game. It was like some weird, like, Sherlock Holmes game. And there was a weird saving error where it wouldn't save properly, so I had to redo levels like a bunch of times. And I, I was kind of speed running it because I was I was kind of knowing what to do and everything. It was kind of actually kind of, it, was, it was kind of fun, like speed running it. I won't lie, but it also did get a little bit tedious and annoying. Like especially having like it just wouldn't save certain things. It was really bizarre. But um, yeah, that's my closest speed running experience. But uh, anyway, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up if you're new and subscribe to join the family. I think I'd rate this out of a 10 for a Jaden animation video. I don't know. I liked it. Probably like 6.5. Uh, but um, yeah, make sure you guys go subscribe to Jaden Animations. With that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Boop!